Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Um, Friday afternoon, uh, we just moved some pigs around, but I wanna show you uh, how these paddocks have recovered. So these were some paddocks that we used at the end of, the, of last summer and even through the winter some. So I'm gonna walk you around and, and show you how the vegetation has come back um, and how our overseeding worked in some places and didn't work in others. So let's take a look at it and see what we got. So these are the three guys that I just moved over. I moved Macon over here. And the only reason we were back to this paddock is because Macon, sorry, they just put wakers in the middle of our road out here and they're loud. Um, Macon is our boar. Uh, this has a gate to the paddock where the girls are. So he will be in with them. Um, and this guy and this guy have some dates in a few months. Uh, he is already 230 pounds, according to measurements anyway. Uh, so let's take a look. So, I mean, you, you can see the ground. This is all fresh spring vegetation that's coming back. Um, this was bare when I moved them out of here four and a half months ago. Um, that right there that he is standing in, that's oats. Um, they popped up pretty good. Uh, we spread and then it rained and, and some weird things happened and it all ended up piling up. But so we spread um, millet in here too. And the millet, you know, I read on it and, and it said that pigs would do well on millet, but for some reason I can't get it to grow. Um, this whole area you can see back down through there, that hill right there, that's the paddock they were in down there. I hadn't taken the post down yet, but that right there was uh, all ryegrass across the top of there. Um, that was actually spread uh, for last winter. And it was about that tall when I moved them in here the first time and it's just come back. Um, let's walk this other paddock. So this over here was two paddocks ago. So more oats have popped up in here. Um, a lot of the rye popped up in here and some of the millet popped up in here. I was really, really hoping and expecting that under some of these trees that maybe that millet would do pretty good, um, you know, come, come springtime. But it really looks like this section that's kind of in the middle here that doesn't have any shade is where most of it uh, popped back up. This paddock hasn't had pigs on it. Oh Lord, uh, I guess we moved them off of here a month and a half ago, I think. Um, but anyhow, they, in this last paddock, they dug some pretty good holes. So I'm gonna get the tractor out and kind of repair some of that stuff. I'm gonna move the little uh, shelter out of there and um, do a couple of other things. Um, I'd like to talk to you guys about where I'm gonna go next and why and all those good things. So hang tight. So right now I'm standing in the middle of pretty much ground zero of pigs for us right now. These are the piglets that are weaning. They're in the training pen. There's a hot wire on there. Um, and then that is Gertrude. She is our guilt. And we have mama pig that's a sow around here somewhere. And these are where we just moved these two guys. So these two are feeders. He's a boar. He is going to be pushed in with the girls next week. So the reason that we moved them to this paddock is because of that gate. So I'll be able to move him through that gate, probably nice and easy. And uh, that'll probably work out pretty good. But I'd like to show you what I'm gonna do with the next paddock. Um, First of all, I guess we'll talk about where the piglets will go. We've decided that we're not gonna put the piglets in with these bigger feeders. Uh, we don't want them to run them through the electric fence uh, like we've had that problem in the past. So let's look at where we're gonna put them first. So with the piglets, um, my full intention was to build a catch box and to collect them on the catch box and then move them to where I wanted them to be. But in my opinion, and I may change this opinion in the future, but in my opinion right now, I feel like it would be smarter if I 
did the same thing that I did with these other two that I trained on electric. I, I just opened up a paddock to the end of the training pin, and then I just opened the training pin up to them, and they just moved calmly right out into their paddock. So that's what I intend to do again. Um, all these paddocks are kind of close together right this second, so I'm gonna uh, turn this around here in just a second. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna go from here. You can see this training pin's right behind me, so just bear in mind where I'm at, and then I'm gonna show you how this is gonna go from here. All right, I'm standing in the same spot. So where you see that charger on that post is the corner of the new paddock. And of course you see the other, the old paddock behind it with all the posts. So just to the right of that, and then all down through here has never had pigs on it. So we're gonna be doing some uh, cleaning. There's a, a little brush pile right there. And then another one down there between those two big oaks uh, that we're gonna be working on cleaning up and moving out and burning off in another spot. But this is where I intend to run this group of piglets through the first time around. Um, I would say it's probably gonna be close to a quarter of an acre when I, when I fence it in. But that's what the plan is there. And then if you look to the back side of all that where I walked you guys through a little while ago, by the time it's time to run them back through there. They will only be on that, the, the two feeders uh, will only be on that back there for about a month before they, uh, they go to the processor. So running as few pigs as I am in these paddocks, these paddocks are lasting a lot longer than I thought they would. Um, they're not beating them up as fast. I mean, you could see in that last one there, um, I mean, there's still grass standing in there. They would eat at it and, and then they wouldn't and it would grow back and catch up and uh so like i say they they have uh, they have not beat the ground up as much as i thought they would this piglet group that there's eight of them they may do a better job beating up the ground than these other ones have but after pigs go to here all of those trailers are going to move and we're going to start moving down that fence line i'm going to have some uh I'm gonna have a, a tr another trailer. I've got another trailer over there. I'm gonna make a shade trailer out of it for them to be out on a regular pasture. But that's the plan right this minute. Since this video is, is all about how the ground recovers uh, when you're rotating animals, I want you to look. You can see it almost right along there. We had our electric poultry netting right there running out this way. And I want you to look at the difference in the in the grass. There is a distinct line between where they were. All of that grass is much greener. It's growing back much healthier, much thicker. And uh, it's going to be really, really, really nice grass to move uh, some chicken tractors across here in the middle of the summer. So at the end of the summer... This was another paddock that we had moved them into after we had uh, the pigs in the garden. And they had this place beat up pretty bad. Of course, we started a compost pile here now and there's a tractor tire laying there. But uh, I'm gonna walk this line with you guys. You have to excuse the little brush pile we got burning off. But you can see the ground where they were uh, pushing up against the electric wire. And then, Hang on, let me get past this blaze. But you can see right there where the line is, all of a sudden you get down and all of that is so much taller and so much more healthy than anything right on the other side of it. All of this is short and it's just now starting to come back. There have been no horses run on this. There, there haven't been any animals run on this, but you can see where this paddock stopped. It squared off right there. And then it went back that way. I mean, you can see the dogs almost, or is a little bit covered up by grass, but uh, I mean, this is the type of, of rejuvenation that the, the ground and the soil gets when you run animals across it like we've been doing. All right, guys, we're about finished up out here uh, today. We've already got a some of this brush I was talking about earlier, we've already got it burning off. Um, we got all the pigs, water and everything moved. Uh, and the last thing that I did, so we're expecting rain tomorrow, like 
probably it's like 90 something percent chance so um i went ahead and got the tractor out here and i fixed some of these holes and things that they've dug out here i'm going to wait till it rains and then i'm going to reseed this paddock that they were just on and a portion of the old paddock because i just fixed some holes in that one um i'll show you how I, what i did real quick with that Not, nothing special but um that's basically where this whole process ends um we'll get the seed put out and everything will start growing back and in four or five months these areas will be good for uh pigs again so let me show you how i fix these areas and and then uh, we'll close this one off so basically this area right here um it's, uh, it, it's not really a, a spring but water after it rains for a couple times drains off of this hill and the pigs just ended up digging a hole right there they were they were really liking it so i just came in here and i filled it back in and then pretty much the same thing back in the other paddock back here i just i want to fill the big holes in I'm, I'm not interested in going over the whole entire paddock and smoothing it out and all that stuff but where the uh, where the pigs dig a hole i would really like to fill those in because i don't want to be riding out here on the mule or one of the girls on the horses or something like that and fall in a hole so fix that one too and uh, just kind of back drug everything but um that's pretty much it you know re rejuvenation of these uh paddocks and reseeding them and all that kind of stuff is just part of this process and, and, and keeping it going um right here is where they were so we'll see maybe i'll, I'll update you guys in a couple of weeks months and show you how this is growing back in once i get it seeded tomorrow anyway guys uh that's all for today we appreciate you guys watching if you have not liked and subscribed please do so we got all kinds of stuff coming up we got the garden going in we got uh uh chickens that are growing and we'll have processing going on here for too long so stay tuned we'll be moving some piglets out for too long as well but anyway we'll see you on the next video